Do you know what are the steps of closed extraction? I hope you do. But do you understand what is the idea behind syndesmotomy and what is the proper technique of traction? Dental extraction is a sequence of actions which lead to the expansion of the alveolus and tearing of the periodontal ligaments so the tooth can come out. It involves four steps. Syndesmotomy, positioning of the instrument, luxation or rotation and traction. Dental extractions can be broadly categorized into two primary types, closed or routine extraction and open or surgical extraction. Routine dental extraction is the most frequently used surgical procedure in the outpatient dental practices. The open technique involves flap elevation and bone removal. Regardless of the chosen technique, there are three essential principles that underpin a proper atraumatic extraction adequate access and visualization, clear path for removal of the tooth, and the use of controlled force. Choosing the wrong technique may result in excessively traumatic or lengthy extraction, so choose wisely. In order for you to comprehend what extraction is and how it's done, first of all, let's clarify what actually holds the tooth in place. These are the periodontal ligaments. They can be categorized into two distinct types, each serving a specific purpose. The first type comprises of the alveolodental fibers, which maintain the position of the tooth relative to the bone. The second type are the gingival dental fibers, which maintain the position of the gingiva relative to the tooth. You have to tear both types of fibers to extract the tooth. Syndesmotomy is the first step of the extraction process. It aims to sever the gingival dental ligaments or simply said to lose the soft tissues attached all around the tooth. It's really useful for first of all to check if the anesthesia is good enough, secondly to create space for the optimal positioning of the elevator. Why is syndesmotomy necessary? Let's imagine what happens during a routine extraction. You position the forceps on the tooth Hold it firmly and begin the luxations. The alveolar bone is a rigid but plastic structure. Expanding the alveola will lead to stretching of the alveolodental ligaments and after being overstretched they tear. Gingiva on the other hand is mobile compared to bone. While luxating the tooth it moves with it and the gingivodental ligaments are not disrupted. Let's imagine you have not done syndesmotomy, you have already luxated the tooth and you are taking it out of the alveolus. Since the gingival dental fibers are not ruptured, while removing the tooth from the alveola, part of the gingiva may remain attached to the tooth and tear away from the alveolar crest. This will lead to the formation of soft tissue wound. So proper syndesmotomy will decrease the chance of trauma to the gingival tissues. So, what tools can be used for syndesmotomy? Curved or straight thin instruments are most often used like a probe, tweezers, syndesmotome or if we are extracting teeth in the anterior area a straight elevator will do a perfect job. Positioning, luxation and rotation of the surgical instrument is the most complex step of the extraction process and the success of the procedure largely depends on it. This is why there are additional videos for this step. The main idea here is to tear the alveolodental ligaments. So you have done the syndesmotomy and luxated the tooth. It's time to remove the tooth from the alveolus. How is this step called? Traction, correct. Let's understand what's the idea of the traction and then we'll also explain the technique. During luxation, most of the ligaments along the wall of the alveolus are torn, but the apical ligaments tear to a much lesser degree because the root displacement in the apical zone is minimal. A common mistake I see with students is that after luxating the tooth, they start pulling the tooth out. This is not a controlled movement, and the moment the apical ligaments are torn, the dentist's hand recoils along with the forceps. This can lead to trauma to the antagonists. 
Traction is controlled rotation of the tooth around imaginary axis, which is vestibular to the tooth and parallel to the facial surface of the tooth. For lower teeth, the motion is out and downward. For upper teeth, is out and upward. When the tooth is out, it's really important to clean it well and check for fractures of the root. Only then you can approach wound care. Okay, let's recap. What are the two main groups of periodontal fibers and which ones do you tear with the syndesmotomy? What is the risk if you don't do a proper syndesmotomy? What instruments can be used for syndesmotomy? What is traction and how would you do it for maxillary first molar? What about mandibular incisors? This video provides a concise summary of the knowledge on this topic derived from the referred sources transformed through my clinical experience. If you find it valuable, hit the like button, subscribe and drop your questions in the comments below. You can join our mission by contributing on Patreon. Only together we can revolutionize dental education.